My name is Sherry Stark and I'm a roving reporter for the Climate Collaboratory, collecting and sharing stories about how we earthlings are dealing with climate change. I'm speaking today with Rebecca Alvarez, a young YouTube producer who along with her siblings has made a number of videos on nature and climate change. Rebecca, I know you especially like making videos about plants and animals. Could you tell us what you like about them? Well, I really think that plants and animals have their own little beauty inside that sometimes it takes humans sometimes to see because like we can't we don't speak the same language so it makes us harder to communicate but I really think that in every animal and plant there's beauty and I really think they just need a voice to be heard. First I thought about being the voice for plants and animals when um, we had to go talk in the earth charter so then when I heard that me being the voice for plants and animals I thought wow that really sounds nice so I decided to keep on going because I really love plants, animals. It's like my strong side when it comes to helping other people is helping the ones that don't have a voice. So I like them being heard. How do you decide what to make your videos about? So at first I just wanted to do like fun little games, YouTube videos, until then my aunt, she said, she like said something about the Earth Charter, so we started changing the videos to something more eco-friendly. What is the Earth Charter? The Earth Charter is a, a community that helps the planet. Um, like, it helps the people on the planet, the planet in general, the animals, so like everyone has a voice. Are adults sometimes surprised that someone as young as you is doing projects about such important subjects? Yes, I do think they're surprised because, well, truth is that this gen um, this generation of kids is a bit, um, they have a bigger personality, so, so seeing kids that are actually um, paying attention to other things that it's not really like TikTok or other type of social medias, that they're actually paying attention to the, to the planet, then I do think they could be surprised at kids such a young age that because sometimes in, in the old days people didn't know what was actually happening so younger generations weren't doing doing anything so then this generation we are trying to all work together and create a better place you're right you never know what kind of a ripple effect a good idea can create thanks for being here rebecca and keep up the good work you can check out rebecca's youtube channel at rebecca super kitty Thanks. See you next time. And if you want to find out how you can become a roving reporter for the Climate Collaboratory yourself, or just hear more inspiring stories like this one, you can go to climatecollaboratory.org. Thanks again.